see if we can do this. I always say push exit, exit, so you know you're at the start. Push enter, go system settings. Okay, so it says invert, AC charge. There's things like that in there, system mode. If you go all the way down to the bottom, uh, view fault list, view warning list, and then clear things. Okay, so you can push clear and stuff. Then exit, exit, take you right back to the start. Push enter, so we're gonna ch check the settings on the MPP solar charge controller, okay? So MPP solar charge controllers, if it says advanced settings, you're good. If not, push the three buttons, it says meters. Push the three buttons, brings you to advanced settings, okay? Go enter, go charger settings. Uh, I have it on custom. Just about every system needs custom, whether it's flooded, AGM, or lithium, because then you can set it to what the batteries need, okay? Go down, battery capacity. So the amp hours on the battery, if there's one string, then it's that number. If there's two strings, then it's times two. Charge rate, uh, three stage. Uh, 54 volts is the recharge, so the batteries have to drain down to 54 volts before it'll do uh, start charging again, okay? Absorb time, I, depending on the batteries, I go with 240 minutes lots. This building has a very large battery bank, so it's at 300. Okay, and then the rest of these can just leave it alone. So let's go back to the top. Okay, so custom, custom settings. We're gonna go into custom settings, custom settings. So these are AGM, each system of course is different. So bulk is at 57.6, absorb 57.6, float 54, okay. This is temperature compensation. These are AGM, so their numbers are different. Every battery has different settings. Okay, and we can work with you on that to get that changed. Okay, equalize, that is only for lead acid batteries. Do not equalize on, uh, on AGMs or lithium. Okay, push exit. Push exit, exit a bunch of times actually. Then, inverter has its own charger. Again, so it's on advanced settings. The three buttons have been pushed. Go enter. Go into charger settings. There you go. Same kind of thing. It looks exactly the same, okay? Now let's get out of there. I'm just gonna show you something else. AC settings. Okay, that's AC2 and tells about breaker size and stuff like that, okay? Uh, gen support, gen support is how hard it's gonna work the generator before the inverter starts to help it. Now I do wanna show you another very common thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna go exit, exit, enter, go into inverter, go uh, advanced settings, go inverter settings. This is the voltage the batteries, or sorry, this is the voltage the batteries will get to and then the inverter will shut off. Okay, so depending on the batteries, depends on different numbers. That's how long it's gonna hold at that number before the inverter shuts off, okay? Uh, battery cutout, search delay. Yeah, don't get into search, that's not good. All right, there's a bunch of settings we can work with that. Talk to me later, bye now.